before I did the La Quinta study, I drive around town, I always have an AM radio on, I'm listening to a, a progressive radio station. As I drive down the street in front of that school, 5th, 50th, no AM reception at all. And, and that, that, that strip mall that's got the high, right near the South Tower, AM reception's wiped out. You can't park in front of the bakery or any of those shops there and, and get any AM. So AM radio is a good detector for this stuff. Now this is a Radio Shack model 12, 586. I think it costs 15 bucks, 14 and change. And, and if you tune it off station, it's a great AM detector. Here, that's about the normal level of static here. You know, let me just demonstrate this. This is a, was a beautiful little housing light. This goes up in the ceiling. And this is the, the cord. And in here it's got a, you know, like it's got a little housing bulb. A plug in automotive bulb. Auto's run on DC, okay, direct current. Yeah, see that little gizmo? It's got, it's got pins, so you can replace it just by plugging it in. So it's a it's a DC 12 volt DC bulb. This little device here, this little box that's got transistors and stuff, it takes the line voltage coming in through here and changes it to 12 volts DC to run this. Here's, here's that's just times 10 meter. It's I got there's two or three in the world. The regular one goes up to 2,000. This goes up to 10,000. Let's plug it in there. It's reading 20. Okay. 30. Here's another one. Here's a regular meter over here. It's reading. It's re reading about 100, which is too high, but I can live with it. Now watch when I plug. Watch when I plug the this uh, the halogen light in. First you'll hear something. Went to, you gotta multiply that, it's 9,000 units. Watch when I pull it out, what happens. It goes back down to 100. Okay, I can demonstrate something else. The, the markets is filters. That's that's ten thousand units. I got it down to forty with that filter. That signal is is going in a house wiring. And it turns out that where I live here the all the wires The power wires run down the ceiling here. So if I went the other end of the house, the, that little halogen light has contaminated the whole house with dirty electricity. And you can see how the, f f the Stetzer filter can, can knock it down. So that's to, to say, say it again about what that is doing to your body. Well, the, the fact that this is picking these up in air, your body is in, standing out here. It's getting in your body and just and generating currents in you. If we had time, I could put electrodes on my wrist, hook myself to a oscilloscope, and show how when I get in a dirty electricity environment, it's, there's currents being generated with my body. Okay, here's a, what, I, what I did with this, I went out to the I-5 wind farm and I, there's a, one major substation there. And I, I put two screwdrivers under the ground, 50 feet apart, 50 feet apart, and I hooked the, hooked the, the ends of the lead to the, to the Stetzer's meter. 
you can see the 60 cycle running along here. But look, look at all this garbage on it. I mean, it should, none of that should be there. It proves that the, the ground there is, is carrying just a ton of dirt electricity. So show us what you're talking about, what, the, uh, what you're referring to as garbage. People well, won't you know, understand. Anything that's, there should be a single little unfat line, a, a six, smooth 60 cycle sine wave. And it's not only fat, it's got all this hair on it. Every one of those is a transient or a harmonic. And if I, I can share the harmonics if I get, get the right graph here. Yeah, if you could explain what the transient and a harmonic okay. look like. Because when you finally uh, have a picture in your mind, I think of those two things, then you get it. Well, well I got, got a, the book's got I put a picture in here just so people could see it. This, 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 these, this is what tr transients look like. Here's, here's a sine wave, and it should be perfectly smooth, and it's not. See the little bumps on it? I think I, in, the, in the talk I gave, I showed this on screen. That should be perfectly smooth. Now this is just that filtered out the 60 cycle, and well, this is just showing you an uh, amplification of the garbage on here. Now I can I'll get another one that shows you the harmonics. They're all harmonic is a, a 60, 60 cycle times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, those har uh, multiple frequencies. Let's see if I can find one here. Okay. Now th this shows, uh, this is a wind farm harmonics. Each one of these is, is a, a multiple of the 60 cycle, it should be there. So this 2, this would be 120. You see there's repeated peaks and look none of that stuff should be there that Period. should be a flat line that that should be it should, there should be a bump well usually you get maybe a, a 60 cycle you get a bump at 120 at 180 but you shouldn't get any of this stuff look at it's out to 100 times 60 or 6000 cycles a second it just shouldn't be there so all those high speak peaks are what you're saying should not be there not, none of these should none of these should be there. The, the, if, if you had a clean clean system, you should have, maybe have one at at two, uh, three, a couple of little low ones down here. And that's it. Well, there's a generalization: a continuous wave, smooth wave, doesn't seem as near to be as biologically active as uh, pulsed or rapid rise time. Those spiky waves. They bother your body. I don't think your body can adjust to them as quickly. And, and uh, the little bone healers, they put, the, put that over a fracture, and the pul it's got this rapid, uh, rapid rise time, pulsed, pulsed EMF that accelerates bone healing. Anything that can accelerate, make your cells grow quicker is a good candidate for being a carcinogen. I'm wondering if you want to say that anything about the difference between EMFs and, and radio frequencies. Well, I, yeah, well, the radio electromagnetic fields uh, are continuous from, from decent, no cycles a second up to billions of cycles per second. Visible light is a part, part of that. What we consider electricity is the, at the very low end, the extremely low frequency field, 60 cycle, 50 cycle in Europe. The dirty electricity we're talking about, the Stetzer filter takes care of, say, between 2 and 100 kilohertz. All the new stuff is uh, is up in, in uh, megahertz, thousands a cycle, and gigahertz, billions of cycles a second range. The, the decked phones and uh, cell phones, they're, they're in the really high frequencies. And that's what, why the radio frequency levels in urban areas are going up like a shot because pagers and cell towers and all those transmitters are operating in really high frequencies. I think we were kind of lucky that they chose 60 cycle for for power and 50 because uh, I, I think if they're smooth I don't think they're as damaging to the body as this this high frequency business and the dirt that rides on the 60 cycle. That's the other irony of if we didn't have wires coming to our house, dirt electricity wouldn't get us because it's, it's, it's come, you know, you're getting dirt from your neighbors. It's like if you 
turn your water on, you're getting your neighbor's sewage. Exactly what's happening. And it's coming at your pipes. It's a, and and uh, it's coming in on your water pipes. In fact, I've, I've been in houses where if you shut the main electric breakers off, you measure higher fields in the house with the breakers off because it's coming into the grounds and it's, it's not balanced. That's right, amazing. Here I'm learning about electricity late in life. <laughs> I wish I had an electrical engineering background, but I'm learning. And it's so pioneering stuff, nobody's doing this. Stetzer, Marty Graham, and a couple others, Marty Havis. We're a small group and uh, I can't get anybody else to do it. But maybe, well, I, th I look at EPRI knows, Electric Power Research Institute knows all about this. But they just keep it real quiet and uh, they're, they know what, need, what needs fixing and they know how to fix it. It just costs mega bucks. Uh, they ought to fix the grid. The first thing they should do is beef up the neutral return to get, eliminate ground currents. When the grid was built, there were no ground currents. We don't need ground currents, they're bad. We don't need dirt electricity, it's very bad. And I'm just hoping, that's why I wrote the book. I, you know, I, I don't have a, uh, I thought I'd have a relaxing retirement. I just work my butt off ever since I retired. And how could you let, let go of this? It's, it's a paradigm shift. I'm gonna take my books and I'm gonna send a copy to the Nobel Committee. <laughs> hey, read this, you guys. This is the best, the most important science story of the millennia. And I can't, I've sent a hundred copies at my own expense to major outlets, uh, TV and radio, and uh, so far very few people have taken me up on it. You know, well, you know, look, GE owns NBC. I mean, why would they want anybody to know about this? And the halogen lights are a joke. I mean, they're, they're the halogen and uh, compact fluorescence. I, I got a CFL. Let me show you this one thing. This is kind of cute. Stetzer made this uh, to demonstrate this. He gives the show and tell so often that he, uh, he fabricated this thing. This is, this is a halogen light here. See what it does to that. And I showed you how a filter can knock it down. Incandescent lights don't do anything, of course. It doesn't change. Here's a dimmer switch. Look at it. We evolved. Uh, on this planet uh, without any of the stuff. Uh, the first, the only fields on the planet were, uh, were the Earth's field. It's a big metal core that drives a, a magnet north and south. It's a static DC field. There's lightning, static electricity, frictional electricity. It makes a, you when you a comb through your hair, you can pick up little bits of lint. But until uh, this AC revolution came along in the 1800s, there was no such thing as alternating current. And, uh, and I think that, that what's happened, uh, every process in our body ru uh, runs electrically. Your brain, your EEG, your heart, EKG, your muscles, EMG, electromyogram. You can measure the currents from, from these organs. Uh, your intestines, peristalsis works electricity. Your cells communicate electrically. So we are an electrochemical being. We're electrochemical soup. So why wouldn't it? Why would it be strange that that exogenous fields and currents uh, mess up your body, give you, make you sick, give you cancer? One of the the Russians knew this 40 years ago. They described microwave illness. People who worked around substations and microwaves, insomnia, loss of libido, uh, brain fog trouble concentrating, depression, etc., etc. So, and I think it's perfectly logical that uh, we're electrochemical animals and this stuff uh, just drives us nuts. I did a study many, many years ago uh, and men who work in aluminum uh, reduction process, they work in very, very strong fields and they had a high rate of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. What we showed was that uh, their immune systems were really 
bizarrely different than, than normal. And so the way I interpret it is that your body picks up the fields, tries to mount uh, an immune response to it, and finally that response fatigues. And when it fatigues, then that's when your cancers happen, because you're making cancer cells all the time. Your body gets rid of them. And, uh, and if you, if you mess, mess up with the body's uh, defenses, and you, we sure do that by getting into fields, uh, that's one of the reasons I think that the cancers happen. That's my theory.